हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अमेजिंग वेब चैनल्स और आज मैं आपको सिखाने जा रही हूँ हाउ टू मेक ट्राई प्रॉन्स किस मोर इट इज़ अ वेरी इजी रेसिपी एंड टेस्ट वेरी डिलीशियस यू कैन हैव दिस रेसिपी विद राइस एंड चटनी यू कैन ऑल्सो ईट दिस विद गोवन स्टेपल फूड दैट इज़ फिश करी राइस इट्स वेरी ईजी एंड दिस रेसिपी हैज़ बीन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू बी बाई वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर्स सो दिस इज हाउ यू मेक दिस रेसिपी To make this kismol, you require two onions finely chopped, two green chilies finely chopped, one tomato finely chopped, one small ball of tamarind, one fourth cup freshly grated coconut, coriander leaves finely chopped. One bowl of Try prawns. You need to wash this prawns and then use it. So this is nicely washed. To make this recipe, you will also require little water, one four teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chilli powder, red chilli powder and salt. You can adjust it according to your taste. Now I have added these three ingredients while making the recipe. I'll show you how much I have added of this ingredients. So first of all, you have to heat a pan. To that pan, you need to add one teaspoon of oil, not much, just one teaspoon. After adding oil, you need to add chopped onions. Now you can add the chopped green chilies. Give it a nice mix. Make sure you don't cook this over cook the onions at the initial stage you just need light brown color of this onions so now as you can see the onion color has been changed it has turned into a light brown color It's time to add the chopped tomatoes. Give it again a nice mix. Guys, trust me, this recipe is really very easy to make. And whenever you visit Goa or any, oh. Uh, Karnataka side, like uh, some places, maybe I really don't know exact places. Uh, you will, if you order a fish thali, they will give you this kismur, and I'm sure you will love it. It tastes really very good and very easy to make. It will, it tastes really. I have tried this recipe with uh, chutney and rice, and it tastes really awesome. People in Goa prefer to eat this at the time of rainy season when the trawlers don't go out in the sea. So now you can add the freshly grated coconut. Again, you need to give it a good mix, guys. Make sure you cook this on a medium heat. Make sure this freshly grated coconut is nicely mixed well with the onion mixture. It's time to add the dry prawns, which I have already washed. Please remember, guys, salt you need to adjust as per your taste. Sometimes these prawns are too salty, so accordingly you adjust the taste. Uh, you adjust the salt, and make sure you wash these prawns before using it. Now, uh, here I have added one teaspoon of salt. Make sure you give it a nice mix. Now 
now it's time to add the tamarind. Please lower the flame at this stage. Now it's time to add the turmeric powder. I have added 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Turmeric powder will give this kiss more a nice color. I have added 1 teaspoon of red chili powder. Again, I'm telling you can adjust this red chili powder as per the taste. If you prefer to eat spicy food, then you can add little extra. Little water is required, not much, little water. So this prawns get cooked fast. Usually prawns don't take much time to cook. These are dry prawns and it will take few minutes to cook. So you need to cook this mixture for 5 to 10 minutes, not more than that guys. After giving it a nice mix, you need to cover this tawa with a plate or you need to cover it with uh, any plate. So uh, now this kismur is ready and this is the final look of the kismur. Trust me guys, this is a very delicious recipe contributed to me by one of my sus subscribers and it's very easy to make. You can definitely give it a try and have this recipe with rice and chutney or fish curry rice. So give it a try and please do write in the comment section how it turned out. Thank you guys. Please do, please do share this video with your friends and family members. Please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. and have